Hello, this is Math Guide. Uh, my name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to take a look at how to divide complex numbers. Remember, complex numbers, anything that's got an i in it, uh, i just means square root of negative 1. Uh, okay, so let's say we were going to divide these complex numbers. Uh, both of these are in a plus bi form. Here, a plus bi, a plus bi. Uh, here we're going to divide them. Now, when we do these problems, it's more convenient to actually take the problem and write it instead of horizontally I'm going to write this vertically so I'm going to put one on top of the other it's just more convenient to do that as you'll see alright so in order for us to do this problem uh, we've got to know something about conjugates <clears throat> a conjugate is uh, when you take a number that's in a plus bi form and you take the opposite of the inside so the conjugate of this number is 5 minus 3i uh, the conjugate of this number would be just take the opposite of this to be plus so 2 plus i so it's pretty easy to find in, or, or at least to write conjugates just take the opposite of the middle real simple All right, now the reason why we need to know that is because what we're going to do is play a little trick here believe it or not uh, since we are going to divide these complex numbers the way to do that is to actually multiply we're going to multiply the top and bottom of this problem by the conjugate of the denominator. Yes, just the denominator. So when we take a look at the denominator, what's the conjugate? That's going to be 2 plus i. All right, so we're going to multiply the bottom by 2 plus i, and whatever we do to the top, we're going to multiply the top by the same thing. All right, why are we going to do this? Well, you'll see. When we multiply by the conjugate, the denominator does something really interesting. Now, I'm actually not going to draw the box to do this problem. Uh, I have another video that explains how to multiply complex numbers. Just check out that other video. All right, so I'm telling you that if you do use the box method, which I prefer, some people use other methods, uh, you are going to get 4. You're going to get a positive 2i, a minus 2i, and an i squared. Oop, uh... Let's correct that, a minus i squared. Okay, so this is the entire denominator, what you would get if you used a table. All right, what do we get in the numerator? Well, let's see, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 5i. I'm just using a table in my head, or double distributive property. I'll just use the table as what I suggest. So there'll be a 6i, and there will be a 3i squared. Okay, so this is what we get once we do uh, expand, and, and I'm writing all the terms from the table. Okay, so what am I going to do now? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to now combine like terms. You'll notice that there's some like terms that I'm going to combine right there, and then you notice that there's some like terms I'm going to combine right there. Just keep in mind that these two are going to cancel, right? 2i and negative 2i, they go away. All right, so what do we get? Well, in the numerator, when we combine these two together, I'm going to get 11i. All right, and everything else stays the same. All right, I'm not changing anything. Taking everything one step at a time. Now, when I combine these two together, they cancel. All right, so those two terms just drop out. All right, now the next thing that you should uh, remember uh, from knowing and, and dealing with complex numbers is a little fact. There's a fact that i squared is equal to negative 1 because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Okay, so keep in mind that this is a property that we land up using really heavily uh, when we deal with these problems. It comes up all the time. i squared is negative 1. All right, so, uh, well, maybe I should leave that there okay as a little reminder so what am I going to do I'm going to take this fact and I'm going to plop it in here for i squared and I'm also going to take the same thing I'm going to plop it in right there for i squared so I'm going to make the substitution alright so picture me doing that so my numerator is going to stay the same you're going to get let's see 10 plus 11 i and let's see, I'm replacing the i squared with negative 1. Okay, I'm replacing the i squared 
with negative 1. Okay, so far so good. Just replaced both of those i squareds with negative 1, actually these i squareds, with negative 1. All right, now let's play cleanup. 3 times negative 1, right? I'm just taking one little step at a time. So I'm leaving these guys alone so you can see everything. It's going to be a negative 3. In our denominator, let's see those two negatives, that becomes a positive. I don't want to lose anybody, so I'm going to show all the steps. All right, continuing on, let's combine like terms. Well, if you'll notice, I've got some like terms right here. Those guys are like terms, so I'm going to combine them together. All right, what do I get? I get, uh, I think I get 7. Okay, so I get 7 plus 11i. Okay, and the denominator, well, let's see, 4 plus 1, those like terms are 5. Now, you know, some people actually leave the answer like this, and they say that is the answer. Nothing wrong with it, except it's not in A plus BI form. Okay, it's in this weird fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both of those numbers by 5, right? Because it says I'm going to divide everything by 5. So I'm going to divide the 7 by 5. I'm going to divide the 11 by 5. Dividing everything by 5. And there you have it. There would be the final answer. And uh, here's your A, 7 fifths. Here's your B, 11 fifths. So the answer is 7 fifths plus 11 fifths I. All right, so that's how you explain how to uh, divide complex numbers. You do this little thing called multiplication. You multiply by conjugates. Kind of neat little thing. Check out our uh, other videos, including our video on operations and polynomials explain this, and of course our how to multiply complex numbers and other videos, interactive lessons, I'm sorry, interactive quizzes in a bunch of lessons. So, take care.